Welcome back to Average Joe's Overlanding. Getting ready to set up camp here. Wanted to talk about the Ridgeline truck bed tent. Uh, so I've used these, this uh, tent a couple of times now. Uh, it's an awesome tent. I definitely like it. It's kind of in between uh, from ground tent sleeping versus, you know, the rooftop tent without having to worry about a bed rack and tent and, you know, that thousands of dollars that everybody ends up having to spend on that. So these can be picked up for under 200. Uh, I caught mine on sale for like 130. So definitely a, a viable option there for you. A um, couple things uh, to take note. I'm going to go through setting it up and tearing it down and everything. You'll probably see some, some clips from uh, like three different instances. I've tried to film this now. This is the third time I've tried to film this. Uh, one time the audio was garbage. One time the camera overheated and shut off on me. So nice cool day today. Uh, shouldn't have to worry about overheating. And I remembered my AirPods, so audio should be good. Uh, we'll go over a few things uh, with the tent here, kind of what's included in the packaging, how to set it up, uh, some suggestions of what I ran into the first time I set it up. So first and foremost, inside the package, you have the tent itself. And when you first get it, it'll have your tent poles and the rain fly uh, kind of tucked beside it. Uh, I don't believe mine was wrapped up in it. The bag itself, uh, it's a nice bag, uh, nothing wrong with that, but it has the instructions sewn into the bag on this kind of heavy, um, it, it's like paper, but it's more heavy than paper. Um, it also has a QR code that you can scan that goes through setup instructions and everything there. The instructions are okay. Uh, it took me a little bit to kind of fumble through them the first time that I did it. So I'll walk you through it and show you kind of how I set mine up and how I would suggest you setting yours up as well. So first things first, you have the little tie strings that keeps everything together. Set those to the side. You have your poles, a bag of poles. Set those to the side. Rainfly, you can set that to the side for now. And the way that I set mine up and how I would suggest you setting yours up is before you ever go camping, when you're at home in your driveway, whatever, you should take this out of the box, uh, find out which end is the tailgate end, which is also the door, and lay it out in that manner. And then kind of take the ends and fold them end to end, like almost in, uh, it's basically in quarters. Uh, I guess it'd be more thirds. So you'd fold a third this way and a third this way and then have your door towards the tailgate. I'll show you here in a second. But that way, when you go to unroll it, your door is at the end and you just unroll it towards the cab of the truck. Makes it a whole lot easier that way. When you unfold the edges, everything is right there and accessible. Uh, the reason that this is the best way to do this, there is this strap that you can thread it out. Uh, it will unthread, you know, you can weave it back and out through the buckle. There's no need to it. You can just take it, wrap it under your tailgate, leave it loose, and then you can take your end. There is a kind of a corner, almost like a fitted sheet. Wrap that around the end of your tailgate on both sides and then from there make sure that your black strap in the corner is to the outside and the orange strap is to the inside what i like to do is take the orange strap and hook it down to the little tie down strap in the corner here before i do anything else don't tighten it leave it loose but hook that down in the corner on both sides remember Black strap to the outside, orange strap on the inside, clip it in. Move my remote here. All right, from there, you're gonna wanna take, there is this kind of edge on the side of it. Uh, maybe hard to see, I'll zoom in closer if we need to, but there's this edge. Make sure that that edge is to the inside of the tent as you pull it up and over 
these buckles should basically be kind of on the corner of your vehicle. You should have one, two, and three straps. This back side here, there's, there's kind of a stretchy corner. Um, I'll show you either in another video uh, on the teardown portion of it or kind of the walkthrough. Um, but there is a little like bungee in this corner. You're going to want to make sure that that bungee is over the corner. You may have to kind of pull it a little bit to get it there. And then this kind of lighter gray end seam goes between the bed and the cap. Once you get that on, you're going to take the hook and you're going to go down to the edge of your truck. And again, I'll show you all detailed on all this stuff. Go around to the other side, leave that side loose when you do this. Go around the other side, same thing, just kind of walk it around. Make sure that that flap is to the inside. As you notice, you don't have to worry about taking anything out. You know, my traction boards are still in here. Uh, if you had a gearbox or something that's not going to be in the way of your sleeping, you could leave that in there. I'm just going to take this, hold it over. You have your straps. And this is why you don't tighten any of it down, is because usually this corner gets to be kind of a pain. So that way you can kind of shift things around as you need to, to get that corner situated after you connect that in. So I know that that corner still needs to go a little bit. I can adjust the tailgate piece a little bit. Pull this up. Kind of pull it around. Once you have those corners kind of where you want it, at this point, snug down the corners. You don't necessarily want to tighten them yet, just kind of snug it in these corners by the cab. Because again, we're going to be resituating everything in a moment. Next thing you're going to want to do, open up the door. And this helps kind of give you a little bit of slack in the tent. So when you're putting your poles in, it's not so tight. Grab your poles. There are only three poles to this entire tent. There are, there is one that just has black ends and there is two, I can get them separated here. There's two different poles that have the orange pieces on them. So one black, two orange. The two orange are the ones that go crisscross across the tent this one is for your door, so just set it aside for now. Grab either one of the orange poles, orange ended poles. Put them all together there. And there is a slot to put these in. So you're gonna wanna slide it in the slot. It should go all the way through. And you should be able to thread it all the way across to kind of rest on the other side of the truck bed. Now, I would suggest waiting to form this portion of it until you get both crosses in. So you're not trying to fish one up and over while the other one's tight. It's just a mess. So. Put this one in.
I like starting at the cab side. It doesn't really matter where you start. But basically push it through. There are little pouches. I'll show you a close-up shot of that. There are little pouches that these pockets go into. Let me show that here. And once you get the one in, you're just going to kind of push it in. And there's another pouch over here. Now, depending, you may have to kind of guide and situate stuff in. But put it in the pouch. Same thing with the other one. The pouch at the cab. Over to the other side. And pouch at the end. Now, now that you have these pouches, or these poles in, the best thing that you can do at this point is to tighten down these orange straps on the inside. Uh, what these straps do is it gives the tent that corner. So I'll show you here. Make sure that our flap is up and over the edge. Tighten those down pretty well. Same thing on this side. Once those front two are in, then you can snug down your back ones against the cap. And again, like I said, you may need to kind of shift stuff around. That's perfectly fine. Shift it over, snug it down, loosen it up if need be. Just get it all situated to where it's pretty square on there. Once you have this part of it done, then you can put your side straps, the ones that go down on the side. Now there's one right here at the back, uh, excuse me, one right here at the back that actually goes at an angle and you want it to go at a kind of aggressive angle i usually like to put it so there's one here kind of by the tailgate or by the tail light and then there's one right here at the corner of the truck i like to do the one at the corner of the truck so it would be going from the rear it'd be the second one in i like to do that one first put that one in and again these don't have to be very tight and then take your one by the tail light kind of snug it down, cross it over the other one, put it on the cab side, and I'll show you that in, in the video here. Uh, and then one more kind of in the middle of the bed at the rear tire. That one, you can go straight under in the fender well. You can go all the way under towards the frame if you want. I usually end up going down towards the frame. And again, just kind of snug it. It doesn't have to be very tight. Do this side real quick. All right, once those are in, you're ready for your door pole. Just get that all assembled. There is a hole right here in the edge. You go through the hole. There is a pouch across the front of the door. Pouch. Out the other hole. Now there are clips down the side that will kind of guide you down to a little pouch. Again, I'll show you a detailed shot of that. Put the end of the pouch on this side, the pouch on this side. Once both ends are in the pouch, then you can clip in the two clips on either side. Sorry about the wind. on either side. Now, I am anticipating rain tonight. It's been raining off and on all week. Even a light drizzle, I don't want to get wet. So I am going to put on the rain fly. The rain fly is very simple. There is one gray side and the rest is all orange. The gray side is the front. It's just as simple as throwing it up and over. However you feel comfortable, side to side. 
There are three on either side. Once they're all buckled in, you can kind of snug down the buckles. Make sure it's secure. And there are some ties to kind of keep it from flapping. If you want to tie it, I don't ever tie it. Um, the tent itself, the door will roll up. Uh, you can also leave just the vent open. That's what I'm going to do now. Kind of let it air out while the weather's nice. So that zips. That and then down, and because it's down, you can actually roll it up like this. And it has little keepers on both the door uh, and the screen, so you can, if you're doing it like this, you can do just the, the waterproof part and have that open. Uh, if you want to do the entire door, there's keepers here in here also, and you can roll back the entire door. Uh, once all that is done, you kind of adjust your tailgate piece as needed. And finally, snug down this tailgate piece. Maybe there's a little loop that goes under your tailgate, kind of keeps it from flapping around. Stow all your bags and you're ready for bedding. So this is, I mean, you just watched me talk you through it. It was 18 minutes. Um, I have no doubt that, you know, if I wasn't talking through stuff and trying to show and make points about stuff, you could have this set up in 10 or 12 minutes pretty easy. Um, tear down, I think, took me 10 minutes um, from, you know, completely set up with Rainfly and everything like that. So. No, it's not a 30 second rooftop tent that sets up, you know, realistically for them, probably two minutes. Um, but it's also not $5,000 or 3000 or whatever, you know, by the time you buy the tent and the rack and everything else. So you still, when you're not using your tent, you still have the whole bed of your truck open. You're not sleeping on the ground. It's not breaking the bank. Um, this for me was kind of a an opportunity to be able to utilize the truck to sleep in uh, while not breaking the bank and researching what kind of rooftop tent I wanted, if I wanted one, uh, and also, you know, what kind of bed rack and everything of that nature. Uh, something to note in the Tacomas, at least, the width between the wheel wells is almost the exact same as a twin size mattress. So, I have uh, just the Rubbermaid totes. The camera's actually sitting on them right now, but that's what I keep all my bedding and stuff in uh, to store it. I have a twin size, four inch thick memory foam mattress that lives in one of those totes that fits back here perfectly. Don't worry if you are tall. Uh, with the tailgate down, even this is a five foot bed, so even with the five foot bed, with the tailgate down, you get like seven, a little over seven feet of room. So unless you're pushing, you know, six, six, uh, you have plenty of room because it does utilize the tailgate as part of the tent as well. So you definitely gain that uh, distance. So I'll be able to throw my mattress in here. I'll be on a four inch thick memory foam, you know, gel topper. Um, sleep comfortably. I don't have to worry about being on the ground. I don't have to worry about an air mattress, any of that. So I can keep my pillow, my tent, and the mattress in one tote. And then I keep sleeping bags, blankets, extra blankets, that kind of stuff uh, in another tote. Two totes, throw them in the back of the truck, and I'm ready to go. Kind of nice, keep everything out of the weather. Um, 
let me know if you have questions. Uh, comment down below if you've used this tent before. Uh, I've seen a couple other videos out there on it, but I don't think it's very widely known. So I get questions on it a lot of times when people see me using it. Be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Like I said, comment down below, like, subscribe, share. Uh, let's get the word out so I can keep bringing you good content and making more videos for you. I'll have a few more on the way. So thanks again. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at suits underscore two underscore sunsets. That's suits to sunsets on Instagram. And uh, feel free to send me a message, follow. I uh, always do lots of good content, kind of switching up what we're doing on the YouTube channel here a little bit. Still be doing some gear reviews and kind of installations and stuff, but I'm gonna also do some of the uh, trails and, and camping trips and stuff that, you know, people wanna see when we talk about overlanding and everything. So be getting some of that content coming to you real soon too. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.